The Lord beside shepherd, I shall not want him. Make an eye like dog in a green pasture. Him let that eye beside still water them. Him restoreth I soul. Him let that eye another part of I trustness for him namesake. Yeah! Though I rasta, I go walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I can't fear no evil. For thy rod and thy staff them comforted I and I. Who prepared the table before I in the presence of our enemy them. Who anointed I head with no oil. Me cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy. I go follow I all the days of I Ivan. Me I go dwell in other house. Of a Lord God, Jah, can my way go my way? Tila, eh, exact beer, tanaistalin, abba shante 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 shante. Can my way go my way? Tila, eh, where two centuries meet in the name of the Most High, Jah. And that's so Jaja de. If Jaja never build up your house, the builder I go build it in vain. Same way, if Jaja never watch upon your house, the white man I go watch it in vain. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and them is safe. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Jah shall deliver him from all of them. And I give thanks and I say unto your name, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, Amasa Yahuda, Yahuda, Amasa Negusto, Negusto, Daniel, Am, Koma, Yasataya, Aymana, Pio, 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 Aya, Krema, Wey, Kroma, Bea, Tila, This is the Black Pot, a.k.a. Kukushunamon. Where we speak truth to power. And remember, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High Jah shall therein abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I give thanks. This is the Black Pot. And my name, Black Rastana, in every traditional African home, there is a black pot. And each time this black pot rests on the fire, there is something some shows cooking. Ingredients of so many different colors, shapes, and sizes, and even aroma. Find their way into the black pot, putting aside all their differences to produce what is known as food. Interestingly, the food does not even benefit the black pot, neither does it benefit the ingredients, it benefits us, the eaters. Same way, the black pot is so symbolical of the African continent, and the ingredients in the black pot represent us as a people. We must put aside all our differences, differences of skin tone, differences of language, creed, faith, religion, spirituality, and come together to interplay in peace, love, and harmony to give our people what is known as development. This is the Black Pot, a.k.a. Kukushunamo, and here we speak truth to power. Now, we must be that tree planting generation, that generation that knows very well that it will not live long enough to benefit from the shade of the trees that have been planted yet is so satisfied that even though it will not be part of the enjoyment the next generation and many more generations to come will benefit from its hard work this is the black pot aka kukushunamo and we are in the service of god and country here we don't do politics what we do is known as patriotism we are in the service yes of god and country we don't criticize but if we must criticize we will not shy away from that we would only criticize to build and not to destroy this is the pot that is black the black pot and my name black rasta we are live on pan-african tv africa's only pan-african tv and we are also live on loud silence tv live on ghana web tv and live on our own tv the black empire tv yes today we are one year young one year young as you can see it in there one year young and we are on youtube 
please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are called the Black Empire Media, one year young. Oh my God. Make sure you also click on the notification button. And everything is everything. You will not miss any of the stories we unleash on you from Monday to Friday. This is the Blackboard. We are also on other social media platforms like Facebook. We are also on uh, um, Instagram and, of course, Twitter. We are called the Black Empire Media. Our numbers are scrolling on your screen. Call us via phone. What's up call? Speak with us. What business are you into? We are ready to promote your business. Let's do business. This is the Blackport. And my name, Black Rasta. Today we have a number of things to look at. And this is how we're going to begin it. Number one. The very first story we are looking at today says, Who leads Nigeria after shambolic elections? The Nigerian election was so bad. In fact, ballot boxes were snatched people were beating up police and soldier were so busily beating people up there was money laundering the nigerian government tried to squeeze out money from the system prior to the elections but they found a way of getting money into the country including american dollars so many people were disenfranchised Many other people were summarily beaten and sacked, asked to go home without voting. At the end of the whole caboodle, the elections are done and dusted. It doesn't look like the Nigerian government is going to have a rerun. Even though it is said that you have to win 25% of how many states? How many states? 14 states or more? And then you have to also win Abuja. Now the Nigerian people know their loss more than us. In Ghana, you must win 50% plus one vote to be able to become president of the nation. In Nigeria, it's a whole different thing. Now it looks like they have pronounced one person winner. And INEC has already given the certificate. To the winner of the elections and who is this person this is the new president of the republic of nigeria we all remember the 70 year old man tinubu this was the same man who revolutionized lagos Molue. we all remember the traffic in lagos we all remember the okada right there in lagos we all remember the chaos in lagos it took tinubu to bring some kind of orderliness in lagos we all remember how people were supposed to come out and clean their environments on specific dates it took this wonderful man to be able to do that but that was several years back does they still have that energy at 17 years, does he still have that energy? Remember, Africa is the youngest continent in the whole world. Yet, it is ruled by old, 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 old men. It's a paradox. The land that is most youthful is ruled by the oldest. And you ask yourself, can the youth rule? It looks like in Africa, we are not giving the youth the chance to rule but what is bbc saying bbc says what watch it it says bola tinubu wins nigeria's presidential election against atiku abubakar and peter obi what does the story say ruling party candidate bola tinubu has been declared the winner of nigeria's disputed presidential election come here the 70 year old veteran politician got 37 percent of the vote official results show his main rival atiku abubakar polled 29 percent and labor's peter obi 25 percent 
their parties had earlier dismissed the poll as a sham and demanded a rerun. Mr. Tinubu is one of Nigeria's richest politicians and based his campaign on his record of rebuilding the biggest city, Lagos, when he was governor. He was nevertheless defeated in the city by Mr. Obi, a relative newcomer who mobilized the support of many young people, especially in urban areas, shaking up the country's two-party system. Mr. Tinubu won most other states in his home region of the Southwest, where he is known as political godfather. He campaigned for the presidency under the slogan, It's my turn. But in his own accent, he will say, It's my turn. President Mahmoud Buhari is stepping down after two terms in office, marked by economic stagnation and growing insecurity around the country from an Islamist insurgency in the Northeast to a nationwide crisis of kidnapping for ransom and separatist attacks in the Southeast. Mr. Tinubu now has the task of solving these problems amongst others in Africa's most populous nation and biggest oil exporter. After fighting military rule in Nigeria, escaping into exile and being one of the founding members of the country's democracy in 1999, Mr. Tinubu will feel that he was destined to become president. He was always the favorite to replace Mr. Buhari, whom he helped become president. And the hurdles he has surmounted to get here will make this an even sweeter win for him. He was not expected to win the party primary, yet he won. Many said his decision to go with another Muslim as a running mate would prove an obstacle, but it was not. So president is Muslim, vice president is Muslim. Previously, all major parties have split their presidential tickets with a Christian from the South and a Northern Muslim in order to achieve broad support across this vast nation of 210 million people. He will now have to prove that he can hit the ground running and that he is still the same formidable force who built modern Lagos. Nigeria's commercial hub, Mr. Tinubu, will be taking charge of a crumbling economy, widespread insecurity, and as the result map shows, a country retreating into regional and religious blocks. Mm. So that's the same thing we said. That he have the same energy that he had when he was governor of Lagos. He is a very rich man. Nigeria spent about one billion American dollars running this election. Nigeria could not afford to rerun this election, especially that there is this bad economic crunch all over Africa and beyond. Tinubu has been pronounced winner. But interestingly, is Nigeria pronouncing him winner because he deserves it or is because they cannot afford a rerun? Are Nigerians happy with the results? Do the results represent the ordinary voter in Nigeria? In fact, voter turnout was so, so, so low. Very low. Less than 20%, as we were told. In fact, even international observers came out boldly to say that the elections could be described as shambolic. But the Nigerian, Einek, has decided to pass it. Now, one man who has been fighting against this election is former president, mm -mm -mm, Olushegun Obasanjo. Mm. This is a very, very old picture of the man. This was when he probably was about 35 years old. He rose through the ranks and became the papa 
of Nigerian politics. We're talking about Olisho, Olisho Gun Obasanjo. That's him. There's a whole street in Ghana named after him. He is asking for the elections to be rerun. He is not happy that these elections have been passed by the ILEC. He says it's a shame. Our Nigeria is going to hit the street. We are picking signals from Nigeria that some people might just be hitting the streets. We are also picking signals that these results might be contested. But the Nigerian government says, you are not satisfied. What do you do? Like we say in Ghana, go to court. Nigeria's election, go to court if you are not happy with results. Buhari to defeated candidates. That is the president of Nigeria. His party has won. Tinubu supported him. It's now his turn to be president. So he says, if you are not happy, go to court. My brother, my sister, what do you think about the Nigerian elections? But the man, Olushegun Obasanjo, is saying he will not rest until these elections are rerun. But during his days in the election, it looked like they went through the same old ballot box stealing. They went through the same old beating up of people. In fact, in short, the same shambolic election. There were so many international observers who also condemned his tenure of office as president during the elections. But what did he say at that time? Watch this short video. No, Did I they said, you? I, I, no, I said for my part. Other than the seven, uh, it, is, uh, it is said that you actually said that uh, the, that election would be a do or die election. No, no. Did I they said, misquote I, you? I, no, I said for my party. For your party? For my party. The PDP. We want, we want to win the election, not by hook or by oh, hook. Crook. But of course, you know but, that uh, yeah. you know the complaints about that election. Yeah. yeah. Now, Far from being fair. No, that election was fair. You think so? Oh yes. Oh yes. Look, there is no election we have had in Nigeria that has not been disputed. The election was disputed, all right, but the election refi reflected the will of the people of Nigeria. Uh, my party had twenty-eight governors. If you, you have to think, do it again, you think that twenty-eight out of thirty-six governors? where you have a, uh, 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 the one of the party, uh, one of the contestants had probably uh, five governors, one hadn't got any governor at all, and these governors will campaign and work for their own party. And you think that my party will lose? You know, it has been actually said that yes. uh, it is true that Nigeria, at least on paper, yes. is a multi-party system. Yes. But in reality, mm. it is a one-party state. PDP controls almost everything. Well, what is wrong with that? Now, what is wrong with that? If, my, if the people of Nigeria decide to vote for PDP, should PDP go to them and say, please, in don't a free vote for us? and a fair election. Yes. That in is also verified by the international observers yes but not the last election 2007 no president. no don't talk about these international observers in the last uh, 18 months mm -hmm. i have observed election in south africa and in togo yes and if you have gone by what the international the so-called international observers are saying both elections will be will have been uh, declared um, uh, non, not acceptable. And this, after, uh, this morning I have only commented on the election in Sudan. Well, now, we have one minute, to go, sir. one minute to go, sir. Now, what Shaka, is the single most... Shaka, yes. what is important is that any election should reflect the will of, of the, the people. people. In this country, in America, okay. they didn't have a... In 2000, a, a in 2000 in Florida, they didn't.
wouldn't have been oh, quite no, well. No, there's no time they have had a perfect election. No perfect the election. The British told me that, in fact, in their own elections, they got dead people voting. <laughs> Interesting. Come here. So this is Olushagon Obasanjo in April 2010, former president of Nigeria, defending another shambolic election. He says there's no perfect election. So this election probably was beyond shambolic. Maybe this election in the dictionary of former president Olushagon Obasanjo it's nothing but a demonic election. And therefore, the devil would have to be sent back to hell so that angels will come down and deal with the election. I am just happy that there's peace in, in, in Nigeria. I am happy that the people have come together. Most people say they are not going on the streets. They believe that, yes. The election was not perfect, but it reflects the true choice of Nigerians. Whether some people were paid money to vote, or some people decided to sell their bed rights. At least they did it voluntarily. This is the Black Pot, a.k.a. Kukushonomo, where we speak truth to power. And again, congratulations, Nigeria. At least no bloodshed. No bombs were flying. No Boko Haram attacks. Nigeria has done it again. Omo Niger, no they carry last. Quata, quata, last but one. Black one. Black one. Black one. Black one. Black one. Black one.